Welcome to a free ride bike build. Um, badass. So the whole idea here is that I'm swapping the front suspension on the downhill bike from a triple crown forks to the single crown Marzocchi Bombers. So they've got the firm coil in there. A bit too much for my weight, but it's all right. It means we can do some heavy hits with it. Um, just a disclaimer, I'd like to say fuck you to all the bike mechanics out there telling me all this is wrong. I don't care, it's my bike, and uh, I'm gonna be building it my way, which if it works, it will be a miracle. So first thing we're gonna do, pop out the old suspension. After that, we'll faff around with the headset cups. Oh yeah, that's coming out, that's out. Thank you. I'm not using that wheel anymore. It's a shit wheel. But it will be for sale if anyone wants it. This is always a bit more confusing than you'd imagine. Right, okay, so basically what this tool does is Saves you the hassle of using a, uh, a flathead screwdriver in there and then getting a big hammer and smashing it off. And then you spread, spread that apart further enough so it fits around the, uh, the actual crown race that's on the bike. There we go. So now when I twist this, it should literally just pop off. There we go. Look at that. All right, uh, I feel like this is a good time to say if anyone's interested in buying a rental stem, direct mount. And some forks. Should be one for sale. <laughs> I think I've got a guide for those forks, but if you give me a good offer, I'll tell him to bugger off. Right here, we have the old fork. I'm so happy to see these go. I just hate them. The actual bike frame has these two metal cups because the steerer tube on these new forks are tapered, so it gets wider down the bottom. I have to replace the bottom cup with a new one I've got. And then, essentially, I have these forks on it. They're literally the same travel. They're the same, these must be 180 mil. I got ripped off then. So it's not gonna feel any different, that's good. Very good. As a wise man once said, hammer time. Uh, basically bought the wrong size thing. We're gonna go nip over to the bike, uh, a bike shop, see if they can do a different size thing. And then we'll get a refund on that. All right, we're driving to the bike, to a different bike shop to hopefully see if they can stop this part. Um, but for a tapered headset. Hopefully they can. If they can, ideal. Then the build will be back on. If they don't, then we'll just have to delay this build. See you at the shop. What is up, guys? We're back again. We went on a little adventure, as you probably saw. We picked up this for 30 quid and gave back the thing that I owed a guy 50 quid for. So technically, I'm up 20 quid. Uh, this also, so this is an external bearing headset cup thing. So this plugs into the bottom of there and it basically means the geometry will be that much better, which is good. I'll pretend I'm the one doing this. So what we've done is we've put some different handlebars on it now. Um, because these, this is what Remy Morton said. He said you have to put kids handlebars on your bike. Oh, this looks so sick. Is that it in? <laughs> right, we're gonna put some more of my favorite stuff on it. <clears throat> oh, that's gross, it didn't even come off. Got Liam's greasy hands now on my mouth. Whoa, there's a lot of grease. I have McAllen here. Do I just do that? Is that it? Fucking hell. 
I just can't wait for everyone to tell me that I'm wrong about it. Didn't quite think about this. Oh. This is where things are going to get messy because I'm putting this tyre onto here and it's tubeless so it is full of sealant which is pretty much goo. You don't want it on you, it's sticky and uh, it looks a bit like jizz. So we have put the new wheel on. If I say new, it's off my original, original mountain bike. So we've finished taking off these forks and we've fully replaced them with these. Um, so we've got the forks on. Let's stare at it. Yeah. These boys and girls, what you learn as I do my thing, thing. Tell them classes and sessions. So we finished the bike. Single crown forks are on it. Triple crowns are off. Selling those, thankfully. I think they look sick on this bike. I think it's turned out better than I thought, and it actually somehow worked. So I've either done a bit of a Frankenstein build or I've just become the biggest genius on a bike ever. Either way, I think it looks sick. And I think more people should do this to their downhill rigs. Because let's face it, in the UK, are we really gonna use all that travel? Maybe, but uh, still, 180 is enough. And I think it looks badass. This is a first. I've never seen another GT Fury with single crown forks on. And there's probably a reason for that, let's face it. <laughs> but I like to be the first for this. Hopefully it's a trend they'll catch on. So this is what